So what is programming? Well, programming is simply writing instructions for a computer to follow. Instructions that tell a computer what to do in what order. It might be something like open a file, then read the contents of a file, then count the number of rows in the file. And we call many lines of code in the same file a script or a program. But at the end of the day, these scripts are just like a text file. They just contain lines of text. It just happens that that text is instructions which computer can understand. That's what code is really. So just like any other file that you might download from the internet or create from your desktop, program scripts are saved on your computer in a certain folder. And you've probably seen different types of files like a PDF or a JPEG image. And you can usually tell what type they are by their extension. The file extension is the part of the file name that follows the dot. So here, this has got a dot PDF file extension. This one's got a dot PNG file extension. And this file extension tells the computer what to do when you click on that file. If I click on this PNG file, then my computer knows to open up the image viewer because it knows that this dot PNG file extension means that it's an image. And there are many different file extensions, like you can see here, dot py, dot cpp, dot pdf, dot txt, and countless more. And each of them indicate that the file contains some different kind of information. But some of those file extensions indicate that the file contains code, instructions for the computer. And different code file extensions correspond to different programming languages. So much like there are many different human languages, there are many different programming languages. And each of them allows you to write the same instruction in different ways, just like different human languages allow you to say the same thing in different ways. So different programming languages have different strengths and weaknesses. Python, for example, is a programming language that's very easy to understand and read because it looks a lot like natural human language. C++, on the other hand, is a programming language that can be much more complicated to read, but is much faster. And what makes the code inside computer programs different to text files is that the computer knows how to interpret each line as an instruction. But when these files are simply sitting in your folder, they won't be doing anything. They're just sitting around here. Even though these are files which contain code, it doesn't mean the code is running. Just like if I have a movie file, it doesn't mean that the movie is playing. Files just contain the data and they sit there until you actually use them. So for code, to actually have a computer complete those instructions, we need to do what's known as run the program. And we refer to running a program as executing a program as well. And I'll show you how to run code later.